Hey everyone, I'm Cecil. And I'm Mercer. And your mind's about to be... Blown. That's right. We are back with another commentary episode for the Rick and Morty Season 1 uh, set of episodes. Yes. And we are continuing with episode number 5. Number 5. And that is one of my favorite episodes. Uh, it, of course, has to do with this gentleman. Who, who is that? Mr. Meeseeks. <laughs> wow, that worked really well. That's amazing. <laughs> Can't do that so, twice. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we're here to watch the very first Meeseeks and Destroy, the first appearance of the Meeseeks in Rick and Morty. Yes. Uh, and the last, actually. Except he's appeared in background, he's in like been a background, background guy, one or yeah. twice, once or twice, and definitely in the comics. Yes. So yeah, one and only. Wow, you kind of depressed me there. I'm it's sad, there. right? They, it's only one. I could have swore they said that they were planning to do more Meeseeks going forward in the fourth episode, in the fourth season. But hopefully, hopefully that'll. That's not my imagination. Bring him back. <laughs> Bring him back. All right. So you ready to get into this one, Andrew? I'm ready. Let's put these headphones. Do you like in Mr. Meeseeks' the... episode? Because it was it was my favorite for a long while. I yeah. Lawnmower Dog got me into it, but Mr. Meeseeks was like, this show is brilliant. Mr. For Meeseeks me. was fun because uh, I think all the characters get on get in on the action in this one, um, and I think that's why you start getting a little more of the feel for the family, the show. <laughs> That was a good one. That's that's a heck so, of a drop. It's a hell of a voice over. I can't take it anymore. I just want to die. Jesus. You gotta put it down. So cool. I can't. Put it I can't down. Have, I gotta put it down. I'm gonna have trouble here. You're gonna have to. All right. The so putting the music box aside. And we are going to get this going. All right. So here we go with uh, me seeks and destroy. We're sinking and it up. Here we go. I'm going to do a countdown for you guys in three, two, one, go. Here goes nothing. All right. We got the hourglass, the hand, the numbers. We're flying into the planet. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you're probably not watching along. But if you're here for the review, stick around or you can scroll through. But don't do that. Just watch the episode. It's what you came here for. Right? Yep. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, here we go, Mr. Mr. Meeseeks. This is intense. Oh, that's right. So the interesting thing about this is it's good. We should actually, uh, I wonder if we should put this up before, but these people right here that are about to get trapped by Morty are actually in the Rick and Morty VR episode. Oh. Because remember, you can lean over and, and listen to the thing that oh, they get trapped that's in. that's right. And you that's can hear right. them go, free us. Well, what are they trapped in? Just remember what that yeah, it's looks the, like. Yeah, it's the battery. Yep. It's the Ghostbusters battery. Yep. Yeah, so in the Rick and Morty VR game, you can literally, that whole shelf right there, there's the crown, there's the monster head. Looks very similar to the way it looks right now. And and even look on the side, there's the two pods with the yellow tops. Yeah, yeah. All of that is in the Rick and Morty VR game. You can interact with all of it, including that Ghostbusters battery. So you can hold it, you can pick it up and hold it next to your head, and you'll hear those three ghosts that Morty and uh, Rick just captured They're going still... like, free us. Yeah. I, I, was, I thought they were, they're not the, still the form of uh, Beth and Jerry. Do you hear their voices? It's, it's not just, their specific voices, okay. no. It's They're kind of like a little more ghostly at that point. Very demon. Very demon-esque. Oh, so this is the Morty Adventure episode? Oh. Every tenth adventure. Yes, the Me Seeks is the other part of the episode. So again, we get a dual storyline episode, which is fun. Oh, that's right. So this is the first Morty adventure where they f go on the stairs and everything. It's their oh. slippery stair. Oh, man. I love I mean, this episode. We'll find it. This episode's so good. This, it's like you have to kind of rate the episodes by you how good the A and B storyline is. Yep, again, two storylines, so. Oh, yeah. There it is.
Damn it. You it's picked the wrong one, one Macy. Couldn't have gotten that one right. Trust me, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so many possibilities. Look what happens when Jerry is in charge. Nobody listens. I want to be a more complete woman. Jesus. Yep. Now Jerry with the simple request. Very simple request here. I'd like to take two strokes off my golf game. Just two. <laughs> Can't do. I like that his request does seem the most, you know, easy to accomplish, and yet it's yeah. the worst one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that goat. Too humble here. Look at that goat, dude. Whoa. See, that sounds like Rob Paulson, who's pinky. So they're cherry picking some of their favorite voice actors for this. Oh, I'm sure. Wow. Principal Vagina. What a great. <laughs> Principal Vagina. Gene Vagina. That's his full name. That's yes. awesome. No relation. <laughs> he answered the phone one time that way. Ouch. <laughs> I'm getting distracted because this show's so good. He's giving like honest, sound life advice. Which is my it's it's kind of weird because they do kind of move some of these odd storyline angles forward. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be this one. And the weird thing is, she's like about to kiss the mini snakes. Well, again, the mini snakes gave her the advice of. Moving on. Uh -huh. And I think it was just, she was happy. Yeah. You get a woman happy, a lot of crazy things can happen. Joke upon the club. <laughs> yeah, relax. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh boy. Here goes. <laughs> oh, he's boy, trying. oh boy. The can of worms this episode opens. Mr. Optimistic Meeseeks. Oh, that's right. And this giant thing is still so awesome, Dude, too. Dude, it's messed what up. What did you do? Oh, God. It gets so graphic so you fast. You monsters. <laughs> it gets so graphic so fast. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> oh, it's Dan Harmon. They totally drew Dan Harmon. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it looks like he's bleeding out. They didn't even do anything. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> they always come in three, sorry. Jesus. The whole giant world is just like regular world except giant.
real straightforward and fun. Look at that new haircut. Mm hmm. They piling up quick. <laughs> it is a paradox. Look at Beth. Ow, ow. <laughs> Poor Beth. She's actually was like. You feel bad? I feel bad for all you of feel them. feel bad for Beth Except right for now? Jerry. I don't feel bad for Jerry. Ja Jerry's an idiot. A giant judge. <laughs> Three, five, oh. This guy comes out of nowhere. Constructing the thing we say. It's a courtroom full of giants. <laughs> like what? I didn't realize how weird that is until now. A courtroom full of giants. Cut your losses. So Rick just wants to use the portal gun to go home, and Morty wants to actually make it all the way back. But Walking there's down thousands the courthouse of steps. steps. Giant court. <laughs> oh, oh God. there's so many of them. <sighs> Look at Beth. Him over there. <laughs> what a paradox. That joke was going to go on for a while. <laughs> Stupid. Even when Morty's trying to be a badass, he's just a little pussy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Everyone. Stairs and eggs. A lot of them are actually steps. Is that a hammer on the left? You know, it's weird because they actually had an episode where there's a, a hammer Morty. Mm-hmm. Jesus, criminy Pete. I like they still have ketchup and mustard on the hot sauce on the table. Oh, yeah. Still America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who who stutters on their own name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slipper Slippery Stair. <laughs> look at where this guy comes from. Or where he goes. Or look at where this what guy goes. The hell? Watch where he goes. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Mr. Booby Buyer. What the hell? Mr. Booby. Is he just. Is he tripping you out? Yeah, it's, Mr. I didn't, Booby I didn't Buyer's think I was got you. To him before. <laughs> 
And some balding me seeks. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just shaving off me seeks. <laughs> Come on. I got no room to talk. I'm so <laughs> He's like the Grandpa Measings. <laughs> He's like stained. <laughs> your failures on your own, old man. Oh, God. <laughs> your failures are your own, old man. That's such a good line. Mr. Jelly Bean is a trip. Oh, he must be fun and innocent. Mm hmm. That's it. Oh my god. Just let this Jesus happen. Jesus Christ. That's wow. Up. Oh, he's suddenly a wrinkly jelly bean. Yeah. And he's licking him. Wow. Oh. Wow. I didn't know that was a full line. That's I a, forgot oh, that. Oh shit. You sweet little twat, huh? Wow. Wow. Good lord. Most of the time I hear that bleeped out completely, basically. Yeah, oh, get him. Get him. him. Get him. him. Yeah, yeah. Kill that jelly bean. Uh, he's freak. not dead. Uh, Jesus the Christ. Missy swore. All of a sudden, there's just so much violence. <laughs> there's a hole in that Meeseeks on the left. <laughs> All strokes off his game. Damn, did you see that one with the busted out eye? Yeah. Man, that's nasty. I always gravitate to the one with the katana. <laughs> of course. You gotta, you gotta always watch out for the one with the katana. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't even have it. It's the same it's the same hairstyle on that one. Good lord. What a plan. Run to the freezer. <laughs> the hell's with the creature on the right? The asshole with... Yeah. That's weird. I don't know what that is. <sighs> <laughs> his eyes followed him. It's messed up if you really think, in hindsight, what he realizes at that moment. Mm -hmm. And how he handles it. He handles it like a, like a champ. Gotta get the slippery stair! What a way to go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. He's still, oh my god, they're taking hostages. <laughs> Any legs? <clears throat> Just ask, what's your name, man? <laughs> He's so nice. She just rips apart mm -hmm. a shelf, like. Bend them. <laughs> Aww. The one thing Meeseeks couldn't give. First time watching this, I totally thought it was just gonna bank off the wall. Mm -hmm. Like, just splatter, and then the Meeseeks are gonna just go crazy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Look at that! Got rid of all of them. Well, there's Almost. no threat anymore. 
<laughs> takes the same hostage. What about your short game? What about your short game? And there just so happens to be. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what a line. Fair enough. Look at all those schmeckles. <laughs> oh, wow. They might get a reward for this. Maybe from the guy in charge? <laughs> Morty style. Oh, wow, look, he's got a cape on and a crown. This is hilarious. I love this. I thought the episode was going to end here. And then they give us the justice yeah. all the people would want. Oh, I saw the little lamb sheep with the black eyes there. <laughs> so scary, but so cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, the house is so messed up. So I think we've gotten far enough to address that Beth and Jerry aren't a solid thing. Oh, boy. They seem to have their issues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you say? What do you say? What we love jump tubs. What we got the bump tubs. I don't <laughs> get it. I don't get it. All right, there Ralph that Paulson, was. Ralph I was right. That was the me seeks. I was right. Ralph Paulson. Oh, you were right. And the, the voice. The voice. I you love the me seeks episode. It's classic. You knew him from Pinky and the Brain. Hmm? You knew yeah. him from Pinky and the Brain. Well, yeah. Pinky. He was in it's this. A very, I told you uh, they cherry pick their their uh, voices for on sure. On season one, though, did mm -hmm. they really? Maybe they got. Maybe they tried to get them on board to sell the first season. I love this. This is a fun extra. Post. Does he throw up? I think he throws up. <laughs> Almost. That's Dan Harmon. <laughs> it's so messed up that the statue is oh man uh -huh. what a fucked up way to end that one <laughs> <laughs> Dan Harmon's a twisted mofo alright so that is our commentary for this episode yes. so review review uh, time I, I love this again I think it's one of the episodes where the A and the B story are super strong yes. both together uh, what about you um, I feel the exact same way. I love the Meesig storyline. Um, I also like that uh, they kind of gave Morty a chance to run the ship. And it kind of, I don't know, that question could be asked in the other uh, episodes too. You know, why did Morty have to go in and not Rick to the homeless guy? You know, there's many. But this kind of gives you an insight of why they do the tandem that they do. Mm -hmm. Is, yeah. Morty, I think Morty would describe his go-abouts in this uh, this adventure different than Rick. Rick mm -hmm. had a smooth sailing, nothing was wrong, and Morty would be like, it was traumatizing, and I don't want to do it again. Mm -hmm. So, just shows you that the easy one isn't necessarily easy on uh, everybody when they switch roles. So, mm -hmm. um, It was more deep character development, but it was a fun one. I had a lot of fun on watching this episode. It's one of my one of my up there ones, especially because Mr. Meeseeks is in it. Mm -hmm. And technically, it's two Dan Harmon cameos because it's the voice at the end and the giant was definitely the five falls, him. slams his head in the Me, table. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so I, I, I really dig this episode. The you know, Mister Slippery Staircase is funny. Mister Booby Buyer is is yeah, indicative Booby, of yeah. just how random this show can be. Yep. 
and um, and Mr. You know, the Jelly Bean King is just is the epitome of like what the hell. Yep. So. Well, again, they they different dimension. Uh, you know, everything was very linear uh, right up until the giant smacked his head. You know, mm-hmm. it was. Jack and the Beanstalk, and it goes up, and Fee Fi Fo, and then all of a sudden you just keep getting curveball and curveball, and that's their spin on the show, mm-hmm. and that's I think what you start, you see the first one, and you're like, well, what else are they gonna do? And then you're in the courtroom, and you know, the the drop the soap joke kind of, I don't know, it just epitomizes what the show's all about. You just you're along for the ride once they decide to make that turn. Mm-hmm. So. Absolutely. This was a fun one, um, and then the Meeseeks. Uh, it gave you more character development with Jerry and Beth and mm-hmm. Summer. It's some of that early Jerry and Beth rockiness that, and, that is developed through the whole first three seasons. Yes, and Summer, you kind of just get a peek that she's all about school and friends and that average, uh, average popular. teenage girl kind of mentality. Uh, but as the show goes on, you kind of see her progress in different ways. So it's good to see it now because uh, she just keeps evolving. Just like most of the other characters. Agreed. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I think uh, we, we love this episode. Not much else to say about it. So It's a favorite. Again, uh, if you like Mr. Meeseeks, there might be a possibility that that box has a game in it and we decide to play it at some point in time. There might just be, Andrew. It's funny you mention that. Whoa. It's the Rick and Morty Mr. Meeseeks box of fun and it is a dice game, y'all. What? So, um, dice and tokens, and there's a whole game board. Oh, no, there's not a game board. But there's cards. There's a... Uh, there's a, a button on the top that gives voice commands. Yeah, there's the button, <laughs> obviously, the Meeseeks button, and then there's an hourglass timer. Hey. Ooh, so this is a timed game. So we will be getting into this at some point. Yes. Uh, because we are going to be going through all of the Rick and Morty board games that I've got, which is plentiful. So. Yes. So it's not just the episode reviews and the commentaries, which, again, if you guys are checking out... And comic book reviews. We cannot appreciate... Or we can't thank you enough. But yes, comic book reviews. Uh, we are also doing the Let's Plays with the game. So there's plenty of content coming your way. Just stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't hit subscribe, now will be a awesome time exactly and if you like the video click that like button uh, but yeah thank you guys very much for watching until next time i've been cecil now mercer and your mind's, mind's just been, been blown, blown.